Four years ago this week, Cameron Blair was murdered at a house party on the Bandon Road in Cork City. Courts have previously heard the 20-year-old from Balnascarthy acted as a peacemaker on the night of the 16th of January 2020 and extended the hand of friendship to his killer, who armed himself with a 20-centimetre knife and stabbed the CIT student in the neck. In April 2020, the then 17-year-old admitted murdering Cameron Blair and was sentenced to life in detention to be reviewed after 13 years. The the now 21-year-old appealed that sentence, arguing the trial judge did not sufficiently take his dysfunctional background and immaturity into account. In December, the Court of Appeal dismissed his appeal and heard submissions as to whether he had an ongoing right to anonymity which he enjoyed as he was sentenced as a child. The appellant's lawyers argued it should be continued, but the DPP submitted he should be named as he was now an adult, with Cameron's parents also indicating they wanted him to be identified. Today, in a landmark ruling, the three-judge Court of Appeal found that he could be named as he was over 18 by the time of his appeal. Delivering the judgment, Ms Justice Isabel Kennedy said the preservation of anonymity was pursuant to the Children's Act and it was clear under this Act that reporting restrictions applied to a child child under the age of 18. The ruling could have implications for other child defendants who turn 18 before their trial concludes or before they're sentenced. Lawyers for the appellant asked the court to put a stay on naming him just yet as he may wish to appeal further. Mr Justice George Birmingham said that they had considered this and directed that the reporting restrictions currently in place should remain for 28 days while he's deciding whether to seek leave for a further appeal and should continue if an appeal is sought. However, he asked that they notify the court registrar if the appellant does not wish to make such an application. Nicole Gernon, Virgin Media News at the Court of Appeal.